Welcome to part three of the crypto mining rig. We're disassembling the old rig here. Here we're taking the GPUs off. Next we're going to disconnect all the wiring. Now we're going to take the power supply out. Once that's all disconnected, we're going to disconnect the main board. We're going to unscrew it from the mount. we got to move that out of the way a couple of times. There we're going to take the screws for the main board out. Now we're going to start with the new rig. Here we're going to slide the motherboard into the offsets. I hand painted this rig black. Let it dry overnight and then heat cured it this morning. I put three retaining screws on here. You don't. It's stationary. No, nothing rugged. Now we're going to put the power supply into the new frame. Unfortunately we can only use two screws near the top. Now the wires for the 24 pin ATX from the power supply to the main board. Now we're going to put the CPU wire in the other corner from the power supply to the main board. And this is graphics card 1. We're just going to set it on there. There's little holes near the top where we're going to screw it down. I positioned the graphics cards to keep them away from heat from the other components. We'll see in the final configuration that we move that cluster on the left there. We space it out a little bit for better heat dissipation to allow the cards to cool off. Here we're plugging in all the wires to the main board. And there's a power connector, there's a USB connector, and then there's the top power connector to power the graphics card. The other connectors are for the adapter. Now we're going to stick the Wi-Fi antenna on there. Take a look. That's what the rig looks like. Now we're going to... Oh, the antenna is just held on by tape loops. Have a look there. Much more compact than the other rig. And let's take a spin. You can see the tools I used, a short screwdriver and a ratcheting screwdriver. Here's if we zoom out, you can see which motherboard I'm using. There's the Wi-Fi connector with the cables connected. There's the power supply. There's the graphics cards. There it is. Another look from this angle right here, you can see the intake fan for the power supply and the graphics cards. Those are 1660 Ti's. We'll take a look down here. Finally, it's alive. It's alive. 